tomorrow. How do you know? You just got here. <laughs> just driving in from the airport. There was such a feeling of history everywhere. All the old buildings and the historical ruins and those narrow little streets crowded with Italians. What do you expect them to be crowded with, you bangies? <laughs> yeah, they'll be cynical. Couldn't you almost feel on the Appian Way the, the Roman legions thundering by in their chariots on their way to conquer Greece? Oh, sure, sure. It's just like when I'm driving back home, I can almost always see the British thundering down Broadway against the lights. <laughs> Danny, you make me so mad. <laughs> Take a nap. But we just got here. How can you even dream of taking a nap when out there it is Rome? Was that what's out there? <laughs> All the time I thought it was Hobo. <laughs> Danny, you can take a nap later. Right now, let's go down to a little sidewalk cafe and sip a tiny cup of cappuccino and watch Roman life stroll by. Lover, right now, I would just like to lie here and watch sheep stroll by. <laughs> Very well. You go to sleep. I'm going out for a walk. Okay, don't go too far now. Maybe I'll do some shopping. <laughs> the guidebook says that on the Via Condotti, they have exquisite jewelry shops. <laughs> Kathy, you know, all of a sudden, I, I feel like going out. <clears throat> I mean, what kind of a husband do you think I am? Let my wife go out shopping by herself. Come on, I'll get you something real nice. What? A cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> sitting here in the famous Borghese Garden. How do you like that? The Mets want a doubleheader. Daddy, listen to this. Borghese Garden, in the heart of old Rome, where handsome men and beautiful women meet for a cup of cappuccino, where romance and adventure fill the air. You know that rookie pitch, the two-hitter? <laughs> Daddy, you can almost smell it. Come on, Daddy, smell it. Smell the air. Smell what? The romance and adventure. Take a deep breath. That's not adventure, that's garlic. <laughs> Stop joking. This is Rome. Don't you feel anything? Yeah, I feel sleepy. Go <laughs> oh, no. back to your newspaper, you're hopeless. That's all he thinks about is sleep. Bella, bellissima. <laughs> Some Italian just passed by and he said, Bella Bellissima. Bella, be, 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 Bella, Bella, Bellissima. Beautiful. It means beautiful, most beautiful. That's fine. <laughs> what are you doing? I just told you that a handsome Italian told me I was most beautiful and all you can say is fine. What do you expect me to say? Well, the least you could say is, well, I think you're most beautiful too. Or, or maybe, uh, that approves that the Italians have good taste, or uh, maybe, uh... Or maybe, why don't you stop acting like a nut? <laughs> How naive can you be, little girl? These Roman men are famous for flirting with women. They'll flirt with anything. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much for my new title. What new title? What did I say? What did I say? You just said I, I, I was in anything. I didn't say you're in anything. You're not in anything. You're nothing. I mean, I mean, I mean they, they'll flirt with anything, and they should certainly flirt with you because you're, you're something. You know, that's quite a compliment. 
Almost as good as Bella Bellissima. Oh, Clancy. You know, I should be very grateful. My husband just promoted me to a thump. <laughs> hey, kid. We've been married for a few years now. You expect me to go Google-eyed and pant every time I see you? No, but you could be a little more romantic, especially here in Rome. Look, you know, I'm getting a little fed up with this Rome routine. I mean, what's the... Di Bella. Bella, Bella. Why don't you take your belly and get lost? It's the lady to whom I speak. Please do not intrude. Yeah, well, I happen to be her husband. That is no excuse. <laughs> How would you like a clout right in your lasagna? <laughs> Baseball player. <laughs> you were jealous. You were actually jealous. I was not jealous. Not a bit. Just that I'm... Well, it disturbs me. That's all these guys coming around here looking at my wife like they're window shopping. Come on, let's get out of here. I'm tired. Well, I'm not. I want to go back to the hotel. Let's go. Danny, I have never been in Rome before. I may never get back here again. And I have no intention of lounging around a hotel room. Besides, the hotel's only a couple blocks from here. I can get back by myself. Okay, Smarty. <laughs> Clancy, you gotta cross a couple of streets. These Romans drive like maniacs. I'd be worried sick about you. If it will ease your mind, Danny, I'll ask an Italian boy scout to help me across the street. It would be more dangerous than a driver's. Oh, Danny, go, 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 go. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> what are you waiting for? A countdown? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. See you around, Bella Bellissima. <laughs> Baseball player. <laughs> you like to go sightseeing? Right now? Yes, now. Oh, thanks a lot. Oh, oh come so on, Danny. Right. Oh, all the wonders of Rome are out there waiting for us. Uh, St. Peter's, the Forum of the Caesars, the Spanish Steps. Sweetheart, all them there wonders of Rome have been waiting out there for centuries. I'm sure they can wait one extra day. <laughs> How can I convince you? All right, I'm darling, if you're tired, you don't have to take me sightseeing. If and you And carry don't the want bags, to. go here and go... There. What did you say? I said you don't have to take me if you don't want to. That is what you said, isn't it? Yes. You said it, but you don't mean it, right? Wrong. I mean it. Really? Yes. Oh, you're sweet. You're a wonderful little wife. Honey, just give me one day to relax, and tomorrow I'll be full of pep and vinegar, and I will take you sightseeing all over the place. Oh, you don't have to take me, darling. Huh? Francesca's going to take me. Francesca? Who's she? Where'd you meet her? Well, that's quite a story. Huh? What do you mean, it's quite a story? What happened? Well, after you left the cafe, uh -huh. this handsome Italian gentleman came over and tried to start a conversation oh, with I me. Oh, I knew it, I knew it, I knew you'd get into trouble. I told you to come back to the <laughs> Well, I hope you told the guy off. Oh, I did. Good. Mm -hmm. I told him that I was not in the habit of carrying on a conversation with strange gentlemen to whom I had not been properly introduced. Good girl. And then you left. Yes, he left. Good. But he came back again. <laughs> came back? Mm -hmm. With the manager of this hotel. The ma what for? Well, it seems they're very old friends. So because the manager knew him so well, and he also knew me, he introduced us properly. So, of course, there was no excuse for not talking to him then. <laughs> well, who introduced you to this Francesca? The manager of the hotel. Oh. Looks like he knows everybody, huh? Or is she this fella's uh, sister or sweetheart or wife or something? Oh, uh, that um, must be Francesco. Well, aren't you going to let her in? Oh, oh, yes. Francesco. Signora Williams. <laughs> Won't you come in? Thank you. Uh, uh, Francesca? <laughs> yes. What she do, lose her skirts? It's Francesco, not Francesca. It's with an O, not an A. Mm. What a difference an A makes. <laughs> but, uh, you're going sightseeing with him? Yes. 
You mean you, you, you've been picked up? Oh, don't be vulgar. We were properly introduced. Well, are you going to properly introduce me, or don't you want him to know who I am? Of course. Uh, Francesco, this is my husband, Danny Williams. This is Francesco Perano. Buongiorno, Signor Williams. How you doing? Signora Williams, è così carina che tutta Roma si inchina al suo passaggio. Uh, what does that mean? Oh, excuse me. It means uh, your loveliness will make my proud city bow as you pass by. Oh, <laughs> Danny, he said... To... I heard him, I heard him. <laughs> Shall we go? Oh, yes, of course. Oh, yes, oh, yes. By all means, we shall go. <laughs> Danny, where are you going? I'm going with you. I thought you wanted to relax. I do. That's why I'm going with you. <laughs> you. I think rigor mortis set in. <laughs> sure, you can say, oh, Danny, what do you care? You've been sitting in the front seat. I'd always be cramped in the back like I was. Boy, now I know how my golf clubs feel. <laughs> the hot bath will make you well again. Oh, thank you. Please, signora, I will be very pleased if you give me the honor of being the first to show you Rome at night. Well, Oh, I... no, she's very tired. I'm not a bit tired. <laughs> I'd love to go. Big deal, roam at night. What's the difference? Night's the same everywhere. It's dark. How about 8 o'clock? I shall be counting the minutes. You know what? Your step, you'll be counting your teeth. <laughs> I apologize for my husband. Please, signora. One need not apologize for one's misfortune. <laughs> what kind of a crack is that? <laughs> Arrivederci. Yeah. See you around. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
my wife and she's with him. I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, that's my wife and she's my husband. I, I mean them. <laughs> Thank you. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, 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 excuse me. Oh, I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. Could I have this chair? Thank you, thank you very much. Excuse me, stop it. my wife and you butt out of this. Well, you Romeos kill me. You really kill me. You think every woman that comes here is waiting to swoon over you because you're so irresistible. And she's starved for romance. Well, I got a tall flash for you, buddy. My wife doesn't need anybody. <laughs> what is this with you guys? Don't you guys ever quit? Now, I've had it with all of you. Carmen, leave my wife alone. She doesn't need your affections or your attention. She does pretty good to me. So just leave my wife alone. I can dance with my own wife, you understand? I can dance with my own wife. What is it with you people? Will you please cut it out? Now, I've had it. What's the matter? Can't you stand to see a woman waste away, not even for a second? Now, kind of leave my wife alone, or there's going to be trouble in this place. Kathy? Kathy? <laughs> Francesca's going to take us to another night. Nothing though. doing. I've had it. Had what, dear? I've had it. I've had it the whole bit. I've had it with standing by and letting another man show my wife the beauty of Rome, of, of, of es escorting her places and, and then dancing with her. From now on, if you want to do any sightseeing, I'm going to do it with you. Really? Yeah, really. And if anybody's going to hold you in his arms on a dance floor, it's going to be me. <laughs> but, Mr. Williams... Look, buddy. I'm the lady's husband, and I don't need any substitute. Now, you know what that means, or do I have to spell it out for you? Oh, no. I understand perfectly what that means. I have accomplished what I set out to do. And now I can live with a good conscience. Mrs. Williams doesn't need me anymore. Well, I got a tall flash for you, Quo Vadis. Mrs. Williams didn't need you in the first place. Oh, but she did. What? I know that you think I'm an Italian wolf, Mr. Williams. You bet I do. But it's not so. You see... <laughs> When I first observed you in the Villa Borghese this morning, I saw a beautiful woman, full of vitality, eager to enjoy my city. And you, with your nose buried in a newspaper. <laughs> she like a bird poised to fly. And you, like a turtle, <laughs> with its belly stuck in the mud. <laughs> and I thought to myself, what a nice thing it would be if I could help these people enjoy Rome. Well, you certainly haven't helped me enjoy Rome. Perhaps not today. But from now on, you will enjoy it much more. Because you have been reminded that your wife is very beautiful. And you love her. 
Oh, I got you there, Charlie. I don't need anybody or anything to remind me that I love my wife. Oh, that could be, but perhaps. Your wife needs to be reminded that you love her. <laughs> the things one takes for granted, one tends to push aside in these thoughts. Yeah. How about that? Found yourself an Italian Boy Scout after all. <laughs> One more thing, Mr. Williams. Do not be upset while you are in Rome. When men pay compliments to your wife, she's entitled to them. And they are really complimenting you, too. Oh, for your good luck in having her. I'll remember that. Look, it's, uh, it's not too late. Why don't we... Go back in and enjoy the evening. Thank you, but I must leave. I have another duty to perform. Oh? Another neglected wife? Yes. My own. That's right, Danny. I saw a picture of her. A beautiful blonde from Austria. Now she tells me. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. And thank you. Oh, Francesco. Uh, thank you for me, too. Goodbye, Remy. Bye. He's quite a fellow. Mm -hmm. The band's still playing, don't you? Uh, I think it's kind of gotten around to my dance. Well, if you're not too tired. Not this, Kathy. Don't rub it in. Sweetheart, there's, there's something I, I'd like to say to you. Oh, what's that? Uh, come, carina. Bella, bellissima. Io te amo. Tu sei tutta la mia vita. Say it in English. Oh, sweetheart. You're the living end. Oh, Danny, that's beautiful. Love me. You know I do. And I'll never go to such extremes to get you to pay attention to me again. <laughs> Kathy, mm. you, you, you really didn't enjoy dancing with all those men, did you? Oh, darling, as long as I live, I want only to dance with you. 